In many games, we have the personalities that outgrows their audience to become the face of the game. Like in League of Legends, we have Faker, who's been the face of League forever. While in CSGO, it's been a mixture between Gatright, Olofmeister, and now recently, Simple. So far, all the faces we've been talking about have been pro players who have reached the apex of their career, while at the same time becoming the face of the game they play. But in Valorant, it started off with the content creator Noted, who became the face of Valorant after his tweet of going pro, in a game that weren't even out yet. He became the face and a meme, after everybody dunking on him and making fun of his infamous tweet. Shortly after that, Tans was seen as the face after his performance in Iceland with Sentinels, picking up a trophy and the MVP. But in this video, I will not be talking about any of them. Today we are talking about the new face, Tarek. And this is the story of how a major winning player from CSGO became the face of the competitor to CSGO, Valorant. Valorant got released at the best time a game could ever been released in 2020. It's the peak of the pandemic, everyone is home and looking for something new to play. And a new FPS is revealed. A person as well that was at home waiting for this Valorant to be released was the professional player of Evil Genius, Tarek. At this time, Tarek was in a downward turn in his career. After a big win in ESL New York, EG and Tarek never saw the same level of success. And Tarek, better known as the content king in the CSGO scene, decided on the 12th of June to release his first ever Valorant video. A video making fun of how easy Valorant is versus their superior competitor, CSGO. At this time, Tarek was a professional player for EG and a switch seemed unlikely, since him and EG just came off beating Team Liquid to become the CS Summit 6 champs. But as I alluded to, Tarek and EG never saw the success of ESL New York, and a year after Valorant got released, Tarek and the EG team parted ways due to poor results. In his article with win.gg, he was hinting to the switch over to Valorant from CSGO. And let's be honest, if you want a more in-depth video about Tarek's legacy, check out the score eSport the story of about Tarek. But I have to give you a little introduction at least of him. Tarek has a legacy in eSport that's something only a few can dream about achieving. After winning the CSGO Major and the Major MVP in 2018, his name was written in CSGO and FPS Hall of Fame forever, and he's regarded as one of the greatest to come from North American CSGO, together with Shroud, Nothing, Stewie 2K. Tarek was before Valorant a name and a face of the FPS genre both on Twitch and YouTube, with a popular stream and videos getting 80k views per video. Tarek's impact on the NA scene of CSGO with his content was unmatched. His video inspired hundreds to go pro and introduced FPL and rank ass to so many new faces like me. But in 2022 of October, he left all of this behind as he made a switch to a full-time Valorant creator. With his most popular video on his channel, I hit rank 1 in Valorant. It had taken Tarek one year to condition his fanbase to watch his Valorant content with a mix of uploads of CSGO, Minecraft and Valorant. And after one year he had done it, he had made a switch to full-time Valorant creator and the switch was the smartest career move to date. The content king stepped into the ring of Valorant creators. Tarek's rise in the Valorant scene have been unmatched, with his connections from CSGO already being established creators or pros in Valorant. This gave Tarek a boost and a way to be noticed outside of CSGO viewers and his own fanbase. Pair this up with his unmatched skills in the game. It could be on B. Bro, I just dismantled them. One more, one more. One more. Oh my god. Yeah, like, Guys, like, sky's Oh, Tarek, give me Go for the content. Go for the content. Oh my yeah, fucking god. Get another one. Oh, <laughs> and personality, and you have the perfect recipe for success. And Tarek capitalized on this and decided against going pro to focus on his content. And here we saw his livestream blow up to a level never seen before. His watch parties are beating shrouds in terms of views and is even beating Valorant's own official stream. As well as putting him as the top 3 most viewed creator on Twitch in July 2022. If you go to YouTube and search for a recap of a pro match, the first 3 videos will be Tarek's watch parties. That's how clickable he is and how massive his brand is becoming in Valorant. Well, why is he the face? He's not a pro like the other were. 
but with his watch parties of matches, his already established FPS legacy, his growth in the scene, his reach to new communities like appearing in Ludwig's videos and OTV videos, he is showing Valorant to fans outside of the Valorant bubble. And this is paying off. And after the champ trial got released and he was the last guy to say the last line, it was proof that even Riot themselves have put him as the face of Valorant. But he's not stopping here, now signed with Sentinel as a content creator and becoming the face of the Sentinel brand together with Tense. And this is just the start. Until next time, and if you're still here, I make all kinds of CSGO and Valorant content. Drop a sub if you're interested.